Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're discussing sunscreen myths. So these are just things that I've heard around the internet, from friends and family, stuff like that. So without further ado, we're just going to dive right in. And the first sunscreen myth that I want to address is something very near and dear to my heart, which is DIY sunscreens. Hear me loud and clear. You cannot DIY a sunscreen. Specifically, people always talk about coconut oil behaving like a sunscreen. And while it is true that coconut oil has an SPF of like four or five, um, obviously SPF 4 or 5 is absolutely not sufficient enough to protect your skin adequately from UV damage. And then also other essential oils like I've heard, I think oregano oil, some people have said has an SPF too. These also have extremely limited SPF values. I personally believe that you should be wearing at least SPF 30 every single day, SPF 50 or greater if you're like out in the sun regularly. So it's really truly not safe to use any of these oils as a DIY sunscreen. And that goes for any other DIY formulation as well. Like I've seen some people take either zinc or titanium dioxide and try to make their own DIY sunscreen. But first of all, you're gonna end up with a terrible white cast. And second of all, it's just not that's just not how sunscreens work. For a sunscreen to be effective, it has to be formulated effectively. And unfortunately, you just cannot mimic that same formulation at home. The next myth that I want to address is a pretty hot topic as of late, um, and it is that sunscreens are killing coral reefs. Now, it's true that coral bleaching is a real thing that happens. Now, algae and coral live together in like a symbiotic relationship, and when coral gets really stressed out, you can expel the algae and cause coral bleaching to occur. And it is true that sunscreens are stressors to coral at very, very, very low concentrations. But in my opinion, the bigger threat to coral reefs are bad agricultural practices and also climate change. So yes, sunscreen does harm coral, but in reality, the bigger thing that we should all be focusing on is huge corporations and dumping up pollutants and pesticides into the ocean, not taking any accountability for these actions, and then also climate change in general, really scary. So compared to all the systematic changes occurring, um, I believe personally that sunscreen affecting coral is a very small component of the greater harm that's occurring to the coral reefs. It's like the whole straws debate. Like people are banning straws because they believe that they contribute to landfills, which is really, really bad, obviously. Straws are definitely bad for the environment, but the harm that corporations are causing is a way bigger cause for concern. The next myth is also a very tricky, complicated one, and it is that organic sunscreens are hormone disruptors. Now, this is fairly complicated, so just stick with me. So the big scary thing that people found out is that some sunscreen ingredients can be found in urine and in breast milk. So that's obviously like a pretty scary thing to comprehend because it's in your body, it's in these fluids that your body produces. Um, but I just want to remind you guys that technology has come so, so, so far. And technology is so sophisticated now that we can detect practically anything in extremely low concentrations. So just because something exists in your bloodstream, in your urine, in your breast milk, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. Just the fact that it exists there is like, okay, cool, it exists. But that doesn't mean that it's causing any harm. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, there was a paper that reported that you'd have to use oxybenzone, which is a sunscreen ingredient, continuously for 277 years. It's the equivalent amount that causes a noticeable hormonal effect so overall, the sunscreen ingredient is considered safe because obviously no one lives for 277 years and wears sunscreen to that amount. Um, you have to remember that people wear sunscreen way less than they should. They apply less than they should. Sunscreen wears off throughout the day. And also we have finite lifespans. Anything is toxic in a high enough amount. The dose makes the poison. I want you to remember that. The dose makes the poison. So for me personally, there's enough documented hardcore evidence that melanoma and potential skin aging um, are caused by UV damage. And I don't know about you, but I don't want that happening to me. And so the overwhelming evidence of these other bad things happening like melanoma and potential skin aging outweighs the potential for it being a hormone disruptor just for me personally because the evidence is here not really here the next myth is that all sunscreens leave a white cast this is just simply not true um, in general inorganic sunscreen filters like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide especially titanium dioxide leave a white cast however most organic filters or chemical filters if you want to call it that don't leave a white cast 
So if your reason for not wearing sunscreen is that, oh, it makes me look ashy, opt for an organic sunscreen formulation and you'll probably be okay. The next myth is that chemical sunscreens absorb UV rays, whereas physical sunscreens bounce back UV rays or reflect UV rays. This is just not true. Um, in reality, chemical and physical sunscreen filters do the same thing. They do a combination of absorbing and also reflecting and also generating heat. So in reality, they perform basically the same way. And so this myth is kind of dumb. Next myth is that sunscreen is not needed on cloudy days or in the winter time. UV rays, especially UVA rays, can penetrate through clouds and so even when the sun is hiding behind clouds you can still get a lot of uv damage done to your skin even more so if it's cloudy and there's like snow on the ground because it can actually reflect uv rays back onto your skin by 80 percent i think and so that is pretty scary to think about so please always wear your sunscreen and the last myth i wanted to address is that you don't need sunscreen if you don't burn and also that darker skinned people don't need sunscreen this is just not true and i wish it were true because how dope would that be if deeper skin tones didn't have to fuss with the uv damage or aging or melanoma but in reality uv rays don't discriminate based on skin tone just because you're not burning doesn't mean that the damage isn't occurring and actually uva rays cause aging and not necessarily burning so even though the uvb rays may not be causing burning on the skin the uva rays are still penetrating much deeper into your skin than uvb rays and causing premature aging so all in all what i want you to take away from this video is that wear your sunscreen there's really no excuse well my camera died um so i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching and spending this time with me please subscribe if you haven't already wear your sunscreen um comment down below with any sunscreen myths that you've heard that i didn't address in this video and we'll talk about it um but yeah until my next video have a beautiful week and i will see you then bye